today I'm going to show you how you can record a screen capture to make a video that you embed onto one of your slides in your PowerPoint presentation. Then you can play this video for your audience during your presentation. Be sure and check out my other video on how to actually record your delivered presentation as a video file. But let's go ahead and take a look at this feature today. All right, I'm gonna open up Microsoft PowerPoint and I have a couple of slides here of a presentation that I'm going to deliver to some new managers to train them on how to request time off and then approve time off requests. So I have a couple of slides ready to go. And the first thing I wanna do is be sure and enable the recording tab in Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, when you first open up PowerPoint, you may or may not have the recording tab enabled. It's not enabled by default, so we have to turn it on. So to do that, come up anywhere on your ribbon and right click your mouse and then select customize the ribbon. When you select this, it opens up the customized ribbon window and over here on your main tabs, go ahead and scroll down to where you see the recording tab here. And it might be unchecked, so if it's um, unchecked, go ahead and check that and then click OK. And once you've turned that on, your recording tab will be visible. So you can come up here and click on recording. Okay, so I'm gonna select the slide where I want to place my video. And I'm gonna come up to screen recording and press that button. Now, the document that I want to do a screen recording of was the last document that I had open. So be sure and open up the document that you may want to do your recording or your screen grab of um, just prior to clicking that button and it will automatically open up into that document for you. So from here, you have a couple of options that pop up at the top here. And I am going to, I definitely do want to record my mouse pointer. So I'm going to leave that button selected. If I didn't want to record my mouse pointer, I could click that to turn it off, but I'm going to click it and keep it turned on. I'm also gonna record my audio because I'm gonna make a recording, it's gonna be a quick little video, and I'm gonna be giving instructions as I type and fill in the form. And then all I have to do next is select the area that I want to record. So I'm gonna come up here and click on select area, and I'm gonna go ahead and just select the part of the document that I want to record. And now I can come up and select the record button. So I have already practiced my recording here. I know what I'm gonna say and do during my recording. And so I can come up here and click record. And what I'm gonna do is record myself um, giving instructions in this video on how to fill in this time off request form. So here we go, I'm gonna press record now. And it will count down. To request time off, be sure and fill in all the information on the time off request form, including your name, your manager's name, and then select your employment status, either full-time or part-time. Then hit tab. Scroll down, fill out the dates, and the number of hours that you're requesting time off. Then select a reason for your time off request. Once you've completed your form, be sure and save it and email it to your manager. And to stop the recording, I hit the, win the Windows plus Shift plus Q button. So that's Windows Shift Q. Then I'm gonna come back down here into PowerPoint. And here I have a file that was got created from my video recording. I'm gonna go ahead and close out Design Ideas. Sometimes that pops up automatically, but I'm gonna close that and I'm going to place this video right on the slide where I want it to be located. So I can drag and drop, once it's selected, you can drag it and place it anywhere on the slide that you want. You can resize it and that type of thing. Let's say I wanna crop in my video to polish it up and make it look a little more professional. I can come up here on the Video Format tab and come up here to Crop. When I select that, I can come over here and move my cursor and I can move and crop in the video and then come up and hit crop. And now I can come up to the playback tab and if I need to trim my video, I can do that from here as well. Um, just come up to trim video and if you have a little bit of time at the beginning and ending of your video where you just took a little bit of time to maybe get ready, all you have to do is drag these markers here, the green one at the beginning, you could 
trim that in and the red one at the end you could come in and cut off the ending and you can play it back and determine exactly where you want to trim that video and then once you've done that just perfectly you can click OK. By default, it's set to automatically play when you come to that slide during your presentation. And we may not want the video to play right away as soon as we cl click to access that slide from our presentation. So instead of automatically, I'm going to come up here and say when clicked on because maybe I want to discuss something with my audience before I actually play the video for them. So this way I can control when I play that video for them during my presentation. I can also play in full screen if I wanted to. I would check this box here and then that would mean that the video would display as a full screen and not just on the slide. So that's an option you can select as a playback option if that's what you want to do. All right, so I am going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to come back up to my main slide and I'm going to click on slideshow. So now let's look at our presentation in presentation mode. I'm going to advance to my next slide and this is the slide where I have my video. So whenever I'm ready to play this video for my audience, all I have to do is bring my mouse over, hover and click the play button. And it will start playing to the video. Time off, be sure and fill in all the information. I'm going to go ahead and click escape to escape out of that for now and escape. This is a great way that you don't need any special screen capture software in order to take advantage of this. It's right within Microsoft PowerPoint. You can do a screen capture and create a video that you embed right there on your slide and play that as a video for your audience. For this video, I use the built-in microphone that's part of my laptop, but I do highly recommend if you are going to be doing a video like this for a large audience, I definitely recommend investing in a good microphone that you can use to record your audio. I have a list of gear that I use in the description below the video in case you're interested. Don't forget to check out my other video on how to actually record your entire presentation as a training video file. If you found this video helpful, be sure and give it a thumbs up to like it. You can subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Visit my website at SharonSmithHR.com. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.